Hello, fire signs. My name is Jess. This is Keith Taro. Welcome to you all. I'm going to go Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, then Ophiuchus. I know you're not actually a fire sign, but I'm going to lump you in there anyway. I will put the timestamps in the description box down below. Let's say a quick blessing and we'll get started with Aries. Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. All right, Aries, I'm going to start with this after tarot for you guys. <laughs> I have the Emperor out. That's your first card. That's Aries energy nicely done. It's also divine masculine energy. Um, I gotta be honest, it came out in the reverse. So let's see if I need to turn it into the upright or yep, you're waiting on something and it's got your, uh, knickers in a twist. Um, it's got something to do with work. It feels like, Ooh, we've got the tower. We could have this week. You could have a lot of people, um, in your workplace quitting or being laid off or fired, something like that. There, it just feels like there's something kind of like tumultuous this week coming up for you. I don't know that it's necessarily going to be affecting you directly, but it's going to be affecting you and your circumstances. You may be having to pick up some slack for other people who are absent now. There could be some kind of a changeover. I have the chariot card. <laughs> This makes you want to leave. <laughs> um, some of you may be deciding that it is time for you to move on from your place of employment. Um, maybe this was the final straw that broke the camel's back. Maybe, mm, see that tower card, once that tower is struck, there's really no going back after that. Like you either need to rebuild where you are with a stronger foundation or you got to move, you know? You can't stay there, right? Even the bats know they have to relocate. Oh, Aries, um, it feels like upheaval in your life, but I feel like you're in a good place ultimately. Maybe it doesn't feel like that right now, um, but it feels like you're moving forward in your life. It really does. Uh. So I said you're in such a good place and all, but really and truly this seven of wands can indicate dealing with conflict and you having to stand your ground or you feeling like you're being a little bit attacked, quite honestly. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel great. But again, it doesn't feel like it's your problem. It feels like it's a problem that's affecting you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, this is what I was hoping to talk about. I was kind of hoping to talk about your love life here, which looks very good. Um, you have some changes coming up, obviously, and these could be separate energies. Um, I was looking at the Knight of Cups um, on the bottom of the deck before I started shuffling this, and it feels like you have someone who has a lot of love for you in your environment, who wants to give you their heart. Um, and with this Four of Wands energy, that can be divine counterpart energy, or it could be marriage. Um, it's also a card of stability. This is a card, this Six of Wands right here, that comes out with it is a card of support, community support, Let's get, I'm going to clarify with another deck in a minute to get some more specifics about this. You are about to be much happier than you ever imagined you could be. I don't even think you see this coming. If you're single, you don't know this is coming for you. If you're already in a partnered relationship, this is going to be a good week. Um, it feels like whoever your partner is, they're supporting you through a time of difficulty. If you're single, you may be meeting someone important this week and it, you would be meeting them um, with within a gathering, like a friend gathering, maybe going out with friends. They may be part of your like um, acquaintance group or something like that. Um, this person, <laughs> they're going to be a little bit shy at first. If you're single and this is a new person, they're going to be a little bit shy. They're not really going to know what to say. You have a very big energy, whoever you are. Um, this is someone who may feel like, um, 
I just, I see somebody going bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> kind of like this when they meet you, because like I said, you have a big energy, you have a big presence. And so when it comes to people who interact with you, it's not always the easiest because you have so much charisma, you have so much, um, I don't, <sighs> It's just like you have this big presence wherever you go. And so sometimes people can be a little shy around you. They're maybe not sure they can measure up. Um, incidentally, um, some of you have someone who's coming back towards you. Yeah, who may have fumbled the ball with you um, a little bit. There's a fly in here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose my shiznit. I will. Um, hopefully it leaves us alone. Um, but <laughs> there is possibly some of you may have someone coming back from the past or someone who's just always kind of been hovering in your environment, kind of who feels like they may have fumbled when it comes to you. There's something to do with a friend group here or community involvement. when it comes to your love life. Something's changed between you and this person though. You may be seeing this person in a different way and now I have the Empress, nice. Whoever this person is that's coming towards you, they see you as everything they could ever want. It's really just a question of whether you want them back or not. Now that's when I really wanna clarify this. I'm gonna use this Tarot of Wonderland to clarify. Um. This person that's coming towards you, because I want to keep talking about your love life here. I really, really do. Yes, indeed I do. Um, this person may have screwed things up with you initially, and it feels like they can't get you off their mind. Truly, truly, truly. Um, I have this Queen of Wands with this Empress energy and this Sun card here. We have a lot of fire sign energy on top of this Empress energy. So those of you who are feminine, Aries, and it's not about your gender, right? It's about the energy that you carry. Um, whoever this person is, they're hoping they can start over again with you and they're hoping that they can do it right this time. Let's back it up a little bit because I want to get back over here to, well, let's just start at the beginning. How about that? Let's give it one more shuffle. Some of you may, um, when we come back over here to your career, some of you may be receiving an email, a very heavy email this week about some major changes that are happening within a company. And some, I'm hearing severance with this Three of Swords. Mm -hmm. um, some of you, there's some major changes happening in your um, company. And you have to look at, it feels like they're keeping you, but they're letting go of a lot of people. You're saying it's not fair. This has to do with money. This has to do with cutting corners or cutting... Um, cutting losses, something like that, it feels really unfair. And you may want to leave and you may start sending out resumes this week. I don't see, um, there's that page of cups again. Woo. Um, I'm, yeah, there it is, resumes. Um, I feel like you're kind of done with this place, but you haven't moved on yet. I don't think you've put in your um, notice yet here, but I think that whatever's going on this week in your career, Aries, you're saying, yeah, I don't want to stay here any longer. You've kind of seen that this place that you're in is not, um, they're not looking out for their employees. And I think you're not happy about that. I think it hurts other people. And I think you see that and you don't want to deal with it. I think that you're fielding a lot of um, the fallout of this. Not a fan. Yeah. Um, okay, let's come back over here to this uh, Four of Wands energy. Um, Hold on. Oh, by the way, um, back over here to this career energy. It feels like the team that you were working on is now kind of unstable. And that is another reason why you need to be putting out resumes in other places. And you see that some of these people weren't telling the truth about contracts or something like that. These are people who were finding loopholes and not upholding what they were supposed to be doing. There's that eight of pentacles out there twice. And I kept seeing this devil on the bottom of the deck. There it is again. And there's that king of um, 
Swords, which I said was um, those emails coming down the pipeline this week. Um, now this, put, this, this puts your workplace in a, a state of instability and now you're picking up slack for people who have either been laid off or they have left because of this unfair situation. So you're gonna start putting out resumes probably within the next two weeks. Um, and you're saying, I'm kind of done with this whole situation with that world card. Now let's come over here to this four of wands and this six of wands. What? Oh, love it. There's the nine of cups again. What? This is so good. So, so good. Let me just tell you, you have the ace of cups to clarify this uh, four of wands. You have a new beginning in a relationship. Um, this ace of cups can be a new relationship coming towards you. I just saw 1041 on the counter. That's that four of wands energy. Very beautiful. Um, this may be someone that you've known from a friend group for some time. I have the king and queen of cups here. You're both ready now. You may not have been ready in the past, one or the other of you. You have the nine of cups out here twice. This is, um, this is kind of, it's kind of double blessings. It's a blessing for you. It's a blessing for them. This is, I just saw 11, 11 on the counter. Um, I always think of this card as like getting to have your cake and eat it too. I don't know what that means, but it's, it's very, very good very good situation. You have this page of cups out here twice. Um, incidentally, one or both of you may already have children from another partnership and that brings you closer together. And also whoever this person is, it seems like things didn't go right the first time around, or they may have had an opportunity with you and they feel like they kind of fumbled the ball, like I was saying, but now here's a do-over for you. There's a lot of chemistry between the two of you, whoever this other person, let, let me find out who this other person is. They may be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. They could also be a Leo or another fire sign in it, or like a Sag or another Aries. Or they could also be an Aquarius with that Knight of Swords that I'm seeing on um, Leo again here with this King of Wands energy. Um, this person may be a little bit shy. Like I was saying, you seem to have a very big energy about you, Aries. You may seem to be very, um, it just feels like when you walk in the room, you're very assertive, you're very sure of yourself. And it may, this other person, it's not that they're underconfident. <sighs> they just don't know how to get you on their side. I, this person has a lot of sexual attraction for you and it feels like the conversations you have are very um, reciprocal. It, like it's good communication between the two of you. I just, I have a quick question, hold on. And something's changed between the two of you, but. Whoever you are, Aries, yeah. you're kind of on the fence. I feel like Aries, whoever you are, you may already have someone else on your mind. And I think that may be something that keeps you from really entertaining this other person. There it is, that decision. Um, it feels like you are under the under you you have the understanding that if you start a relationship with this person that's here, you're kind of letting go of someone else in your heart or in your mind. I have that three of cups on its side here. And this is a difficult decision for you with that Two of Swords energy and that High Priestess energy. It feels like this new person from your friend group or an acquaintance group that you've known who, who really does have the hots for you. They definitely do. Very much so. And they can't figure out how to get close to you. I feel like you have someone else on your mind that keeps you from going forward with this other person. Oh, 
this other person really sees you as everything they could ever want though you see how this person takes all the sandwiches out of their bag so that they can put that pentacle in that's how they see you this is someone who knows a good thing when they see it and that's you I just don't know I feel like so you gotta ask, well, I mm, got these thoughts. So part of me is saying, you gotta ask yourself, is this person gonna be a good fit for you? Because if they are, why not? But you've got this other person on your mind here and they seem to be kind of all consuming. There it is, knew it. Ugh. I was wondering who is this other person that you have on your mind and there's the Emperor with the tower and you know you came out over here this is your love spread over here on this side as the Empress so you have divine counterpart on your mind mm -hmm. and so this other person that's coming towards you you're gonna view them as a page even if they seem like a good fit for you, you're gonna view them as a page because you have this emperor on your mind. I know this is your card here, Aries, but this is unrelated. This is divine masculine, divine feminine energy. And that's why I was asking because of that four of wands, that's that twin flame 1111 divine counterpart energy. You have the possibility of a new relationship coming towards you this week but I really think that you have this divine counterpart on your mind. You could start something new, something that could, could really go the distance with this other person. But I don't think that you are feeling that. That's okay. And you would rather wait to give your heart to anybody you would rather wait for this other person. So there's really not anything else I can tell you here. Um, this other, this divine counterpart may be a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn, but I don't see you changing your mind. I think that you may have a lot of people who ask you out. You may have a lot of people who wanna spend their time with you, but because you are quite fixated on this um, counterpart energy, you're not really that interested and that's okay you do you i don't encourage you to wait for anybody for sure i encourage you to live your life to its fullest and but if you feel like there is no one else for you then why waste your time right all right that was your reading for this week aries i appreciate you letting me read your cards for you hang in there i see that this situation in your workplace is kind of a downer um, and it does look like you're going to start putting out resumes um, for a new place of employment soon um, whoever this new person it well it's not a, really even a new person it feels like it's someone that you've already known from an acquaintance group or a friend group I don't even know if you want to give them a chance. It's like, yes, we have good conversations. There's witty repartee. And yes, this person's very attracted to you, but it feels like you only want one person. I don't know. Tell you what. Well, if you're real mixed up about this situation, reach out to a reader that you trust for a personal reading. I do take personal readings. All that information is in the about section of this channel or find someone else that you um, really trust as far as a reader goes. Maybe get a reading about this. Maybe you read cards yourself. Maybe you do a reading for yourself or maybe you just pray about the situation. I don't know what's gonna be happening with that divine counterpart situation, but you kind of seem intent on waiting. All right, that was your reading for this week. Thanks for letting me read for you, Aries. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys soon. Next, we have Leo. Leo, I'm gonna use this um, star power tarot for you guys. wants that's your card straight out nicely done I like it when you guys show up for yourselves like that that Leo energy you're feeling good this week like a boss I hear five of swords in the reverse what ace of cups on its side whoa I gotta have some more about that all 
All right. Well, I have to be honest with you, Leo. There's your card, the sun again. Let me put this down for a minute. Um, let me grab another deck straight away because I feel like, let me grab this rainbow tarot over here. Um, I feel like some of you may have had some conflict with someone where you feel like you had to cut somebody out. Um, that five of swords in the reverse is somebody who says, um, no problem, I don't mind letting you go because it was that bad of a situation. I have the ace of cups on its side with that hermit and that devil card there. Um, it feels like I see three, three, three on the Google clock across the um, room from me. This was somebody that you've known for a long time or someone that felt like a soulmate for you, but something, some kind of light bulb moment has happened for you here, Leo, where you said this person is not right for me. Um, they may have spoke, they may have, they may have said things about you behind your back. There's like an energy of gossip and slander. And that was why it was so easy for you to cut them out of your life. makes you feel kind of alone, makes you feel kind of exposed. Poop. Um, I can tell you things are about to get better and they're gonna get better real soon. Like it really does feel like that. And I don't even know if this situation's got you so down. Um, this may be something that happened maybe last week, the week before last, but there's been some kind of I don't know, exposure to what this person's done or said about you. Mm. You may, well, there's the strength card. That's you again, Leo. Um, Honestly, I was hearing that you may have done the same thing. To them. Okay, so maybe it was just a conflict. They said something about you, you said something about them, and now we're kind of done. Somebody may want to come here and ask for forgiveness. It's kind of on the table with that Ace of Cups on its side there. You're just not sure you want to take them back. This can be in a love relationship or a friendship, quite honestly. Um, you've been really introspective about this, Leo. It's kind of heavy. On one hand, this person is definitely a soulmate energy with that Six of Cups, regardless of whether it's romantic, family, friend, whatever. Um, this is someone that you identified with very quickly, someone that you recognize very quickly, someone that you have known since you were a kid or that since they were a kid or someone that you would intend to grow old with in some way. That's that Six of Cups. But something's come to light about something that someone has said and I feel like it was kind of reciprocal on both sides. You may have found yourself saying things you wish that you could take back now, or maybe they were true, <laughs> but nobody likes to say things that aren't nice about people. It, it kind of haunts us. Um, you know that book that was from like the, I don't know, late 90s, early 2000s, The Four Agreements, and it's by Don Miguel Ruiz. And one of the agreements is um, never say anything bad about anybody and then you'll never have to feel bad about anything. Um, and that, that kind of just be, that kind of might just be what you're feeling you might just be a really incredibly kind person, Leo, and it may bother you when your temper gets the better of you and you speak without thinking first. You know, you're human. It's okay. It happens to all of us. But you may be someone who just has a really big heart and you kind of hate that it's come to this. Um, there's this energy of somebody wanting forgiveness here. 
and someone coming to you and asking for forgiveness. And I feel like if that's the case, um, you are probably going to, look, I've got the sun and the moon here on the bottom of the deck. I feel like you've been sad without one another and I feel like there is an energy of forgiveness and there's this understanding of, you know, sometimes we are not always so great. Sometimes we allow our, you know, our shadow selves to get the better of us and that is part of being human. That's part of growing, that's part of learning, that's part of evolution of our souls, right? We experience things within ourselves that we don't really like looking at and so in the future we make changes or we don't one way or the other it feels like somebody here wants to come towards you and they want to ask for um, forgiveness some kind of an apology it could be an Aries energy or a divine masculine energy I have the two of wands out here twice whoa with the four of wands nicely done um, this may be a big month for our fire signs and union energy Again, I don't know if this is somebody that was in your friend group, family group, or if this is in fact divine counterpart energy. Um, this two of wands is in the right place at the right time, but there's a real lusty energy coming towards you, whether you're single or committed um, to a partner right now. It feels like there's, there's a lot of sexual passion coming towards you this week. And there's the emperor again, nicely done. Um, this may have been an argument that you had with this other person. And quite honestly, one or the other of you involved in this argument, this is all like one big sweeping story here. One or the other of you, Leo, may have let your words come out before you before you really thought about them. This five of swords can be an energy of verbal bullying. It can be gossip, it can be slander, but it can also be cutting someone out before you think about it, especially with the reverse right here. It might have been you. <laughs> And that's okay. Like I said, you're human. Don't beat yourself up about this. But somebody here feels like they need to apologize. Somebody here is like prayed about what has happened. Good job. Somebody here may have been under the influence when they said these things. That doesn't make it okay, I know. But somebody is saying, I feel really, really badly that I saw things in that way, that I said those things. And this could be the other person too. Um, you've got that sun and that moon out there. This is a yin yang energy. You've got that emperor out there twice with that four of wands energy. Is That's that divine counterpart energy. It can be an energy of marriage and stability. You wanna get back in the groove with this person. You may have broken up with this person and you may not have talked to this person in a while, like a, a few days. You may have taken a break. This may be an on again, off again relationship. Let me tell you, what brings you guys back together is your sexual attraction towards one another. Ah. Okay. And there's the five of swords again. Somebody in this dynamic, Leo, is gonna have to admit that they were wrong. I don't know if it's you, I don't know if it's this other person, but somebody here is really wanting to ask for forgiveness here. And they're, like I said, the sexual attraction you have between yourself and this other person, or if it's not a romantic relationship, and it kind of is feeling like it's unfolding that way here, Leo, um, that, that sex, well, I mean, some kind of attraction, magnetic attraction, is what is kind of the glue that holds the two of you together. And nobody's going anywhere. Even if you think that you've walked away from this person, this person isn't leaving you, you're not leaving this person, they're waiting to have a conversation about this. Yes, a conversation about what has happened here. And if you really talk this out with this person, things are gonna move forward in a very healthy way. Um, it's just a question of you making somebody, I have to be really honest with you, Leo. I'm feeling like you might be that, you might have to be the person that crosses this bridge first. Whether you were at fault here, whether you were the one who kind of spoke without thinking, I don't know. 
Um, but it kind of feels like you have to be in charge of crossing this bridge of either forgiveness or of apology. And I feel like that's hard. But I think that you're capable of it because I can see here you're a very big person with a very big heart. Um, and this person is worth it. I guarantee you this person is worth it, whoever they are. And I feel like neither one of you can move on without at least some closure here. Um, but there is an awful lot of sexual attraction that seems to keep you guys coming back for more with one another. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Let me know how that goes for you. All right. Um, thanks for letting me read your cards for you this week, Leo. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are so inclined. And I We'll see you soon. Have a wonderful week. Um, next we have Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I'm going to use this um, Super Lunaris Tarot. Um, I have the Page of Cups. I've got this Queen of Wands out here. It comes out on its side, quite honestly. That's Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Thank you guys for showing up for yourself. You guys all have all the fire signs. Your first card out has been indicative of your zodiac sign. So thumbs up to you all. Um, and this Page of Cups, it feels, let me, this is someone, oh, golly, somebody you haven't talked to in a while. And I've got the Emperor out there for you. The Emperor has come out in all of the fire signs that I've um, read for today. Um, this Emperor, you haven't talked to them. There's been an energy of restriction between the two of you. I just saw 3113 on the counter. Um, and it feels like we're either mending fences with this person or someone is... Um, apologizing or forgiving someone. <sighs> Somebody here knows that this is their person now. This may be an Aquarius Libra Gemini with this Knight of Swords energy. It feels like you do need to have some difficult conversations. I say difficult conversations, maybe not so difficult, but kind of stormy skies here with this situation. And it feels like with this Ten of Cups, this can be an energy of marriage. This can be a family coming together, being created, or a blended family coming together. Nice. I see the Emperor sitting here looking on the bot at me on the bottom of this deck here. I guess I'll use this one in a minute. There's a lot of happiness coming towards you with this other person. You haven't been able to forget this person, one or the other of you. Oh, kids. One or the other of you has been through a lot recently. Um, one or the other of you may have had um, a death in the family or a loved one, a friend who has passed on. Um, there's a lot of loss that's happened to one or the other of you. Um, and you kind of can't seem to let each other go. Even though you haven't talked about each other, you're continually in one another's energy. Um, you see each other as like a happy thought. And there's the four of wands under that, nice. Um, this is a new beginning for you in love, whoever you are, been between the two of you with that Knight of Cups energy. That four of wands is that 1111 twin flame card and it, it speaks to marriage as well. Marriage, marriage. Marriage. Let's um, use this since I already started with this deck. We have the Emperor out there twice. This other person, this Emperor that's crossing you here, Sagittarius, they may have felt like they couldn't win with you before. They may have seen you as being like outside of their guidelines or I don't know what that means outside of their guidelines, but outside of their guidelines, three, 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 three on the counter or just outside of their norm. Um, it may have been difficult for them to wrap their head around a relationship with you. It feels like that's changing. Um, this is someone who wants to um, bring you closer into a friend group. Um, this person could be a Cancerian or have that heavily in their chart. You may have just started talking to this person again during Cancerian season. Um, it's time to really talk to this person, like really sit down and have a conversation. I've got the Queen of Cups here. Somebody here has um, a really big heart. I don't know if this is you or if this is this other person. 
um, you guys like to drink together. There's something about martinis here. And somebody here has been watching somebody from a distance, like the social media pages, definitely. Someone here is going to suggest um, taking pictures together and posting them online, like, um, oh golly, like <laughs> declaration of relationship. This is someone who, if you start talking to them again and you decide that you want to start um, seeing them again or come back together with them in some way, they're gonna wanna make it official real quickly and they're gonna definitely want to everyone to know it. I don't know if that's you or if that's this other person. Definitely wanna have a conversation about this. I've got the Page of Cups again here and here. You've been separated from this person for a while and the time apart from one another was very good for you both. There have been some major changes since this separation. Somebody here needed to have this break in order to see what was important to them and what they wanted for the future. I have the justice card here. This relationship is gonna come back together during Libra season. And it is reciprocal on both sides. Definitely have the possibility of an air sign here, Aries, Le or excuse me, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, with that King of Swords energy. You got a lot of swords here. Aries twice, also divine masculine energy. There's this real need for whoever is on the other side of this, Sagittarius, to be seen with you by other people. You may have a star quality about you, and, and please feel free to reverse this. This other person may have a star quality about them. This person has felt kind of left out from your life and it hurt their feelings, almost like they were never acknowledged in your life before. And that was why we had this separation. But I have this Knight of Cups again and the Lovers again and this Page of Swords again. There's a lot of healing that's happened during this separation for both of you. And it feels like this is kind of that all in or all out moment for the two of you. You may start talking with this person this week, Sagittarius, and it may kind of come to its culminating point in Libra season where you decide to have like a long-term relationship with this person, possibly even marriage, possibly blending families, possibly moving in with one another. And there's the four of wands under that sun card. Um, somebody here may have to relocate, like I said, maybe moving in with one another with that Six of Swords. Mm -hmm. And that Four of Wands, again, that's twice out for the Four of Wands and twice out for the Emperor. You know that? Um, that's Major Divine Counterpart energy on the table. This is somebody who has finally seen the light and that you guys can probably bring a lot of stability into one another's lives. There's the King of Wands there. I've got the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands. You're very attracted to one another and you have really good conversation with one another. You, you adore one another, quite honestly. You really, really do. Um, somebody here just didn't feel acknowledged in another person's life and somebody here is saying, I I want it on, on, I want like a digital contract. I want it known that we are together. I don't want you seeing anybody else. Somebody here is like needing to stamp this, like, ah, uh, like put their name on it, like declare this person belongs to me, that kind of thing. Kind of makes me nervous, but you might like that sort of thing. There's like a major commitment here this person wants, and they want it to be known that you belong to them and no one else. Um, this is very possibly divine counterpart energy and at the very least marriage energy, you know? And this is someone who wants to know, is this the moment? Are you going to be all in this time or not? Because I feel like this person feels like they were kind of left out of your life in some way, Sagittarius. Um, in the past and so this is your this is your shot and I really feel like if 
I feel like this is your last chance with this person. Okay? And I don't know what that means, but that's, that is what I'm hearing. That's a lot of pressure. I feel that. You're going to have to have some, I don't know if it's stormy conversations, but like very honest conversations that cut through a lot of the drama and a lot of the, you know, debris. I feel like just sitting down and talking about what you want for the future with one another is going to help a lot. Um, my heart feels like very, it's, it doesn't hurt and it's not sad. It's kind of excited and like kind of a longing feeling. I think that this person is really hoping that you tell them that you want to be all in with this. I think they wanted that the last go around, but I think that for whatever reason, you guys fell apart at some point and never really fully committed to one another. There was something to do about somebody. I don't know if it was you or if it was them. Um, not being able, like, had something to do with community involvement or friend group involvement, or maybe even family involvement, maybe your friends, your family, or some, something didn't really accept this person or they didn't want you with this person, I'm not sure. Um, but somebody let that energy get between the two of you and this person is hoping that that doesn't happen again or you're hoping that doesn't happen again. I feel like you have another opportunity with this counterpart and I hope it goes well. My fingers are crossed for you guys. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll see you soon. Keep me posted on how that goes. Um, if you feel like it, drop a comment down in the comment section and let me know if that resonates with you at all. Um, I just wish you the very best of the luck. I do. All right, I'll catch up with you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, last we have Ophiakis. Well, Fia, I guess I'm going to use this artist inner vision tarot for you guys. Now, if you're an Ophiuchus, you would have been born between November 29th and December 17th. You're not actually a fire sign. You're classified as ether, but you fall right between Scorpio and Sagittarius. So... Um, Sagittarius readings may resonate for you. Scorpio may resonate for you. And if neither one resonates for you or this one, then check your moon sign or your rising sign or your Mars or your Venus. How about that? Lots of options for you, Ophiuchus. Shut up. You're kidding me. I've got the Four of Wands for you guys, too. Um, the Four of Wands is that Twin Flame 1111 Awakening card. Golly, every single one of our fire signs today has had the Four of Wands. It must be a big week, a big month for um, Divine Counterpart Unions. Congratulations if this is your case. Um, you may have a Pisces coming towards you. I have that High Priestess energy. This will be someone you had a very telepathic bond with. Um, it doesn't always have to be about a Divine Counterpart. This Four of Wands. It can be an energy of stability. It can be a card of marriage. I just, I can't believe this. This person could be a Virgo. You may have been apart from this person for a long time. You've got the Ten of Cups. There's like marriage on the line here. This is someone, so whoever you are, Ophiuchus, this is going to be a big week of psychic development for you. You can be expecting to have a lot of just like spontaneous meditations or um, just like uploads to your system, downloads to your brain. Your ears may be ringing a lot this week. You may feel a little bit muddled in your three-dimensional every day-to-day -day, like life. You may feel a little confused. You may need to get out and go for walks outside in the sunshine. You may need to go sit next to some water a little bit this weekend just to kind of clear your head. You may need to wander a little bit out in nature with that hermit energy trying to find some balance here. I'm going to definitely clarify with another deck. Hold on. Some of you may have, well, let me just look here. I've got the Queen of Wands here. That's Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. So you got water sign here. You got fire sign here. You haven't talked to someone here in a long time. It could be this divine counterpart. 
and it feels like they may be coming back this week or like really hitting you hard with telepathy this week. This person may show up where you work. This is rather specific. Mm. Hold on, I gotta get another deck, hold on. Oof. I'm gonna leave that there, you know that. I'm gonna, um, let me get another deck and to clarify. What do we wanna, yeah, I'm gonna use this vice versa tarot. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fine, I guess I'm gonna take that out. I left that King of Pentacles in there, but I think I'm gonna take it out here. Some of you may have a Virgo Taurus Capricorn um, counterpart coming towards you here. Wow. This is someone who is just now starting over again in their lives. They don't have to be those zodiac signs, but the, the qualities of the King of Pentacles would be someone who's a little bit older, someone who's pretty well established financially. Um, this would be someone who has recently been through some major upheaval in their lives. They may have um, gone through a lot of struggles in their lives and built themselves up from nothing, like from the, the ground up. Um, they may have come from difficult circumstances um, as children where they felt like they had, yeah, um, where they had a lot of responsibility on their shoulders from a young age. They may have dealt with addiction. Um, I've got the hanged man there. This person could also be a Pisces. Um, it's time for a reconciliation between the two of you with that three of cups. Um, okay. Um, this, I've got the fool card here, nicely done. I've got the sun card out here. This person may have been through some kind of upheaval during Leo season. We just finished that. Um, they may have just recently gotten divorced. Again, they may have also gone into some kind of treatment for addiction. Um, there's a lot of attraction between the two of you and this thing is going to take, um, is going to, it's going to move forward very quickly. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding the words. I'm hearing like a lot of like catchphrases in my head. Um, this fool energy is a brand new beginning between the both of you. And there's going to be some fast moving communication here. I've got the hermit out there again, Virgo energy. This person has been through an ending. I've got that um, empress energy. That's divine feminine energy. This person finally knows who you are to them. Golly. I've got this page of cups out here again. This is somebody who's gonna be sending you a message. And they're, I'm hearing kid's birthday party. You may have children, this other person may have children. I think it's finally time for you to let this person in. One or the other of you has had a lot of big boundaries up around yourself. There's the Queen of Wands again. Um, if you are a feminine Ophiuchus watching this, I don't think that you have been allowing anyone to get very close to you. And quite honestly, you've had this other person on your heart or on your mind, and that's what's been keeping you from talking to anyone else. You've really restricted yourself in your life um, as far as um, seeing other people, dating other people, allowing other people into your life. You were waiting on this one person. This other person has recently gone through some kind of a major ending and it may have happened over the summer, July, August time. And it was really ugly and it was rough. And there was a lot of things that went down during that time um, that you don't know about if you're the feminine here. This person also, when they met you, this is turning into like a twin flame reading. I'm really sorry if that's not what you were hoping for, but this is what's on the table here. Um, this person, this masculine energy over here, when they met this feminine energy, they really didn't know what to make of it. They were very confused by the whole situation. This feminine has been really independent on their own for a long time. They may have recently relocated. They may have recently purchased a new home. Um, they've already been through a lot of endings. Something shifted here during um, Cancerian season, Leo season. 
and we have the lovers card out here as well everything has come into balance now this masculine energy had to wait until they were in a place where they could come towards this feminine energy i am so sorry ophia because if this has hijacked your reading but this seems to be very specific for someone out there um wow this is whoever you are with this fool card and this world card this is going to cause a major shift in your life. I see wedding rings on this world card. The world is the ending of cycles so that you can start a new cycle with this fool energy. You guys are going to be starting a new life together. One that looks really prosperous, very profitable. And again, whoever this feminine energy is, they haven't been um, willing to even look towards another person. Um, because they were waiting on this masculine energy. Sagittarius had something similar. Um, so if you are a Sag leaning um, Ophiuchus, pop up there and check out that reading as well. And I will say that all of the fire signs had that four of wands in it, that twin flame 1111 card, that divine counterpart card in it this week. So this just may be something that's hitting our fire signs this week. Um, this person, whoever this masculine energy is, is going to be messaging this feminine energy with like some um, flirtatiousness, flirtatiousness. Mm -hmm. Whee! You got the Queen of Cups out there again. You got the Emperor out there. You guys have been apart from one another for a while and it's time for you guys to come back together absolutely and with this lover's energy it feels like it's time to walk off into the sunset together you see um you guys have a very telepathic bond um you may have dreams of this person this person may have dreams of you um you may just be sitting in your living room and all of a sudden this person's like appears to you spiritually appears to you you may know how this person is feeling you may have strange feelings that come over you at different times of the day and you just may know that they're associated with this other person all right i'm gonna cut you loose because this is an awful lot of energy Oof. trust me this person has been feeling the same way that you've been feeling it's very much copacetic mm. And reciprocal on both sides um, this masculine has been through an awful lot definitely an awful lot um, possibly a divorce some kind of a major ending their entire life has been kind of a challenge I feel like they I'm hearing that they were they took care of um, either younger siblings or children from a very young age they may have been a young um, parent or they may have taken care of young siblings at a young age. They may have just had to work very hard. Hearing an airplane go over the head, over the top of the house. Um, this feminine, whoever you are, you've been waiting for them. Um, and you haven't, you've been single for a long time, very independent by yourself. Um, because you've known that this was your person. All right. All right. That was your reading for this week. Thanks for letting me read for you, Ophiuchus. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you guys soon. Mwah to you all.